Hi everyone, this is a reading with me. I hope you are doing well. This is for all star signs and if you're here, I feel like it is a sign that there are messages for you. Also wanted to mention as well that if you ever wanted to purchase any personal services, they are always listed down below for your convenience. There's black magic energy removal, protection ritual, rituals for love, money, success, marriage, healing, commitment, and so much more. And there's also as well the intention items, which thousands of people have seen results with at the bottom of my website. So there's bracelets, necklaces, anklets, pom-poms, tassels, embroidered cards, which you can put under your pillow, keep around you, sage bundles, candles, teas, and yeah, the list literally goes on, but it's always listed down below and my um, stuff is on shopmoonlightguidance.com um, as well as Etsy which is linked down below. Okay so we're going to start with this reading, see what is coming through. Okay let's have a look. Seven of Wands indicates a hurdle here in this situation. What exactly are we looking at hurdle wise? Okay, so hurdle wise it is to do here with a person who is overthinking. Now, I really feel, okay, that there is someone here that cannot stop thinking about you. Um, as of right now, you are really, really on their mind heavily, okay? When I say heavily, this is an overthinking energy. On top of that, we've got judgment as well. So there's someone here that's actually sort of judging, analyzing, dissecting things that you've said to them. I really feel here as well that this hurdle is to do with you expressing to someone how annoyed you are at their lack of their lack of presence, their lack of communication, their lack of understanding, their lack of empathy. That bit varies from person to person, but you've expressed to someone their lack of something, okay? Um, and it's hurt you. It's made you feel frustrated. You always have to sort of look for answers. You have to go searching for like validation, you know, and it's this sense here of you always trying to figure things out and you're thinking to yourself, well, why can't you tell me? Why can't you tell me if you like me? Why can't you tell me if communicating this much is too much for you? Why can't you tell me if something is wrong or if I've done something wrong, you know, you feel frustrated because you're always the one trying to figure out what are they thinking? Why are they not saying anything? Do they really want to initiate plans? Do they want to do this? Do they want to take things forward? And you'll just feel like you're going insane. Okay. And that's what's happened here is that basically you have called this person out on something, whether it's recently, whether it's in the past and they know that they've made a mistake all right, they know they haven't done enough. This person's not stupid. They know, okay, they know their lack of action towards you, their lack of communication, their lack of whatever this is, okay, they know. And that's something here. The only thing that I will say in regards to this, because, you know, Ace of Pentacles shows that they like literally know this, is they know they have effed things up, okay? They know that they have messed things up. They know that they have self-sabotaged things because we've also got the two of cups here as well. And, you know, they feel so ashamed within themselves. And, you know, there's this sort of um, saying where when people know that they've messed up, they oftentimes don't want to admit it, which obviously is wrong, right? But there is this sense here of it's, it's awful really, but it's this sort of sense of like it's easier not to acknowledge it than to acknowledge it, which again is ridiculous, right? But that's what they're doing. They, they just feel like, oh, it's too much for me to express that, yeah, I mess things up. You know, it's, it's too much for me to say this, this, and this, because they were giving you a lack of action to begin with, right? And they didn't really have that much empathy at the time because they were thinking more about themselves. They had empathy for themselves. So now that they feel like they've self-sabotaged things, they feel like it's easier not to say something. But let's see where this is going, okay? Because we do have some very interesting cards. Okay, they know that they've messed things up. Four of Cups. So who has to fix things? They do, okay? The other thing here with Temperance is that they actually can't stop thinking about what you said to them, okay? When you said that you've been given a lack of 
communication, honesty, openness, loyalty, whatever this is, they can't stop thinking about that. And that's really interesting because I feel here with the world card is that they could have gone on dates with other people. They could have um, been with sort of like friends and people around them. And these people have not been kind to them, have not been nice to them, have called them out on their behavior as well because this person seems to repeat behavior in different places, could even be in their work environment or family have called them out and they just feel like, oh my God, why is everybody saying the same thing? The links and the dots seem to connect and they start to realize, wait a second, I am ruining things. So now they're starting to feel that you were actually right the, the whole way through, that actually their behavior towards you has not been correct. It hasn't been good, okay? They know that they've messed things up and actually as more time goes by, the more they realize that you are actually someone that is life partner material. Back then, you know, their feelings and their needs and what they wanted to do in a day-to-day -day basis was the most important thing. Now they're starting to realize that they are not the only person on this planet, okay? Friends, family members, if they have gone on other dates, all of these people have called them out on their BS, okay? Because this person... <laughs> Sounds, it sounds awful to say, and I don't mean to say it in such a way, but they, they literally thought that the world sort of revolved around them and that, you know, they are the victim of circumstances and it's it's all about them. Well, it's not, you know, it's, it's also about other people and how they treat other people. And, you know, other people have felt that they are being unkind, you know, that they're not considering that there are other people in the room or around them and they always make everything about them and it's always their emotions and everybody else's doesn't matter. Well, now they're starting to realize, wait a second, this is a world. It's a world with communities. It's a world with families. It's a world with relationships. It's a world where everything doesn't revolve around me. And so now they're starting to realize, oh, I actually have to make relationships work. I can't always be in this victim mentality where it's all about me because that's not helping them, right? It's not making them feel good. And so now they think about you and they think, Oh, your life, life partner material. You know, you never really did anything wrong. You were just asking for a bit of decency, a bit of normality, a bit more because you like me, because you care about me, because you want me. And that bothers them, okay? It bothers them. Why? Because you wanted them, right? And all of these other people are calling them out on these things and now they feel like, oh, those people don't want me. There's a bit of sort of that psychology aspect that sort of really falls into this, okay, which is something that I have picked up on. And you might also, I feel like you're very smart. You, you also get that sort of link that I'm making here where, you know, other people also rejecting them and calling them out and you not having done that to them, if that makes sense. But yes, calling them out is really triggering them to feel like they've lost something really special in you, okay? okay okay <laughs> just just respond to me and be like all right okay whatever be like <laughs> it's so they know they've messed things up okay they know they have there's the truth there's the honesty they know it and whatever you said to them they feel bad but they've basically got to muster muster up that courage to properly come towards you because they're not necessarily the most courageous in that sense, like they don't just like understand like, oh, I made a mistake. Let me go and apologize, you know, regardless of like how hard it could be. It just ends up being 10 times more difficult for them. Um, but will they? I think so. I see some deep healing happening here. I also see a journey and a trip towards you. So it's definitely something I see where I do feel like they will come forward towards you. Yeah, I feel like they're going to go through a deep sort of emotional recovery, healing, um, to realize that they self-sabotage this connection. At the end of the day, if you don't want this person to apologize to you, then, well, I, I do feel here, okay, that if you don't really want this person, then when they come to you, you can say what you want really in the grand scheme of things obviously you are entitled to do whatever you want right in your life um i see that they will come forward after doing some deep deep healing and it's your choice what you do okay it really is your choice uh it, completely that 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 is it okay but this is what happened this is why it happened that was your perspective we gave their perspective i hope it makes sense 
um but yeah you know if this reading resonates with you don't forget to like share subscribe comment down below check out the description box below for informational personal services for reading giveaway intention items services um i also have tiktok and instagram by the way i post short readings on there every single day so feel free to follow me on there the official links are linked down below and i'll see you all very soon bye everyone